Hey, I'm John Chan, the Senior Lab Manager here at Reviewed, and today we're going to be talking about the iRobot J7 Plus. So the J7 Plus is a Roomba vacuum. It measures 13.3 inches across, 3.4 inches tall, and it weighs about 7.5 pounds. And has a charging base with dimensions that are 12.5 inches by 12.5 inches by 14 inches, and has a limited one-year warranty. And one of the reasons that we like the J7 Plus is because while it doesn't have unique features, it has highly refined features, such as excellent navigation, a self-emptying uh, charging base, and it has poop the pet owner's official promise. iRobot promises that this robot will never run over pet excrement. That's because it has machine learning cameras that recognize pet excrement on the ground and it will avoid it. Um, some other features that we really like about this is that it's relatively quiet while running. And now with the iRobot OS update, the J7 Plus is an even better robot. The library of objects that it can recognize via its cameras has been greatly expanded to include things like power cords, headphones, and even socks. So that means you don't need to clean up before your robot vacuum cleans up. But that's not the only thing the J7 Plus can do. With iRobot OS, you can also do things like do smart maps. So you can tell the robot to clean specific rooms at specific times. Uh, it can also communicate with all sorts of other smart devices. For example, um, if you have uh, some smart locks, every time you come home, you can tell the robot to go back to its base. And it can even sync with things like Alexa and Google Home. So one of the main points about a robot vacuum is that you don't want to constantly be dealing with it. You don't want it to constantly get stuck and you don't want to constantly be emptying it. This robot vacuum has a self-emptying base. So what happens is when it's done with the run, it goes up to the base and there's a vacuum inside the base that sucks up everything that's inside the robot into a self-sealing bag. That means uh, for up to 30 days, you never have to touch, see, or smell anything uh, unpleasant. You just pull the tab and then empty out, throw out the bag straight into the trash. One of the other reasons that we like the J7 Plus is that it's been designed to kind of fit in with your home. It doesn't look like a futuristic dustbin, but rather like a, like a piece of furniture. While the iRobot J7 Plus is our favorite robot vacuum, it does have a few faults. The first one uh, is the price. It costs around $800, and as a very high-end robot vacuum, it's one of the most expensive out there. So there are other robot vacuums you can get that provide a little bit better value. The other thing we kind of felt more lukewarm about was J7's navigation. It shied away from a lot of the tighter spots in our robot obstacle course, which means that it's not gonna damage your furniture, but it's also not gonna get all the dust and all the nooks and crannies. And finally, it's a little bit on the loud side, specifically when it's self-emptying. It's loud enough to wake a sleeping child or disturb a conversation. So the J7 Plus's pros are, it looks good, it avoids objects well, and it has good dirt pickup. And the cons are, it's loud, it's expensive, and it won't get all the dirt and all the nooks and crannies. So should you buy it? Well, based on all of our lab results, we think that the iRobot J7 Plus is a good buy, especially if you're looking for the very best in what robot vacuums have to offer. So even though the J7 Plus is very expensive, it's really hard to put a price on peace of mind. This robot vacuum has good dirt pickup, but it also has great object avoidance, meaning it's never going to leave you with a bigger mess than you left it. To read the full review of the iRobot J7 Plus, head over to Reviewed.com, and thanks for watching.